going on, everybody? Game Magic 13 here, and welcome back to the Super Mario Brothers. You were in the last episode. We tackled the first half of. Nope, don't go that way. The first half of Soda Jungle. And in this episode, we are going to be tackling the second half of Soda Jungle. And while it may look short, it may look like there's only three levels, I assure you, there's not. Let's just go into the spooky forest. And would you look at that? There's a whole other section to Soda Jungle. Granted, it's only three extra levels, so a total of six levels for the second half. But still, let's dive into Which Way Labyrinth. Another boo house, and yes, just as confusing as ever. Wait, no, not six levels, seven levels, because there's the secret level too. Uh, okay, so we're going to do this in a bit of a backwards order. We're going to go through this door first. We're gonna collect the third. We're gonna collect the third star coin and go to go through the hidden exit on one run, and then we're we're gonna do this one first, and then on another run, we're going to collect the first two star coins and go through the regular exit. I assure you, there's a method to my madness. It's just because these two work are are they're symbiotic with each other. The that being the third star coin and hidden exit. So we get to the top of here. Actually, let, we gotta stick to the no because it's in the next section. Um, we just gotta work our way up, all the way up to the t Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Okay, so don't do what I did, um, and jump down like a fool and get scared and get hit by a boo. Go up here and go into this door. I don't know why I panicked and started jumping around like a moron and then got hit by, got hit by a boo. Alright, so here. Stick to the right. And third star coin should be here, I believe. Yep, right here. You wanna fall with the blocks trying to get hit by any boos, and here is our secret exit. I don't know why I'm keeping this glow Yoshi with him, because I don't think he's going to get carried into the next level. And one up. That's unnecessary. This way. Alright, so we're not going to go up there just yet. We're going to finish Which Way Labyrinth, and then we'll go up to the, do the secret stage. Alright, so first things first, we're going to go in through... Actually, we can... Yeah, we don't need to... We can skip up far section. Let's go through this door to get the first star coin. Alright, so our objective here is to... Use that mushroom we got earlier, and grab this fire flower as well. So you don't want to kill too much, too many of these guys because the sec the first star coin's right in here. So we got to get this guy to bust open the door, then ground pound on top of him to get rid of him, and then lower lower this just enough, then jump in here, grab the first star coin, and then jump back onto this as it rises up, and then jump through here to leave this room. And then with that one under our belts, we need to get to door F, and door F is up in the upper section. And what size platforms are you going to give me this time? Big platforms, good. Jump up here, go through, not, no, not this door. Why would I do that? We're going to go up here, hit this hidden block right here, jump up, over, and here is door F. Give us a little bit of light. Uh, hit the P block, ground pound through here to get the second, second. Yeah, the second star coin, but it sound like, sounded like I said second. And I grab as many coins as you want to, so that I just did this so I can get back up to 99 lies. And here we go. So now with that under our belts, what we're going to do is we're going to go through door H. And this is another one where we have to kind of fall with the fall with the block and with that in mind I, th I think this gives out at some point or not gives out but goes into a state of free fall um but up until that point we just gotta sw keep with the swaying and keep looking back and forth so that no one side of booze gets too close to you just keep looking back and forth going left and right in the d-pad maybe break out a little funky funky little dance move while you're at it and yep here's the give out part that i was talking about the free fall part i was talking about earlier invincibility star invincibility star cool this lights up the room, we can get rid of some booze, please go into a state of free fall, so I can really put this to use, get rid of the big one, 
Yep, there we go. There's that state of free fall. Oh, of course. All right, let's go. This takes us to the regular exit, which will unlock the way forward to the rest of the level. Can we get on top of you? We can. Of course, we don't really need... To. Why do you give me small platforms out here and big platforms on there? We just had big platforms. Okay, so before we do the next two levels, we're going to go up here and do Flight of the Parabeetles. Which is quite an annoying level. You're familiar with level 7-6 from New Super Mario Bros. Wii? Let's flash back for a minute, shall we? Oh, um... Apparently Yoshi is in this level? That's good, that's good, that's good. Grab it and go! Jump onto this one. And to this one. No, 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 no! I have faith that this one will take us straight to a coin. Wait, what now? What now? Is there anything special about going up there? I forget. No, there's nothing special. You just get a better shot at the, the top of the goalpost. But guess what? I don't care about that because I have 99 lives. Woohoo! Yeah! It's all because of the level I despise so dearly. One ups do nothing for me anymore because I have 99 lives. Now, wasn't that pleasant? Not! Alright, well, this is another one where we're going to equip one of our four Super Aladdin power-ups to deal with this level. I think I wasted all of these when I first played through. Or when I... A, when I first played through. B, when I did, made a walkthrough for this game. Alright, so we need one to go up, I think. So let's get on this one. Oh, wait, let's get the second, uh, first star coin. Then let's go up. Oh, wait, no, it, it's a continuous motion to the right. What am I talking about? Y even if you don't have a Super Aladdin suit, you definitely want to have some form of either a wallowing suit or a Super Aladdin suit. Preferably a Super Aladdin suit because you can infinitely float um, or do this as it may, as it were, which is very helpful because you don't really need the Parabeetles if you have this. But it's still nice to have them around to fall back on, sometimes literally. Okay, there we go. And the second star coin is gonna put us in between some king bills, or not even king bills. So, thanks to the one up, friend. I didn't need that, but I was really scared that something was gonna take away my peep lock. What's in here? Do I want this? No, I do not want this. Get away from me. Oh, there's the second star coin, and there's the mega king bill I was talking about earlier. Thank. Go down, grab the second star coin, friend. Thanks. Much obliged. Okay. That's that. And then the third star coin is... <laughs> Don't hit me. Let's be friends. Hide up here. Thank you, friend -o. Okay. So the third star coin isn't in this room, or the... I say room, but in this main area. The third star coin is actually right where the... <laughs> the goalpost is. Oh, hi, 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 hi. But in order to get to it, we need to go into a secret pipe, which is this. Please give me big platforms. Of course not. Let's just float into it, shall we? Oh, we can't do that. We can't float into it. Oh, we can't float into it. Oh, shoot. We can't float into it. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh, boy. So, you don't want to go through the screen warp pipe. Can I please... Can we... How do we... How did I do this in the walkthrough? I, th I, I, I'm... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, don't give up on me just yet. Come on, take me up to the red pipe. Please. Oh. Uh, yes. Okay. You want to use platforms to get in there. Or, I mean, you want to use the parabeetles to get in there. But if you're in a dire situation like I am, you're going to have to fall back on the platforms. Oh, I did that first try. Wow, I did not expect that. Yeah. Yes, save. The path to Moraine Clouds is open if you want to take it, but we need to finish up so the jungle and rock candy mines. So, I should go play- I should replay the first Super Mario Bros. Wii. That's a really fun game. I mean, both of them are fun games. I- I- I like both. 
I should give myself a nostalgia trip down memory lane for that one. Okay. So the Jungle Dash 4 painted Swampland. And as you can see, it's quite the hectic background. It's a very psychedelic background, I guess you could say. And it feels like you move a lot faster in this level compared to all the other levels, too. So it's something a bit odd there. And this is the pipe we need. No! Let's get rid of this piranha plant and then go down this pipe to get the first star coin. Also, you can't. You, uh, if, if you beat this level with the regular exit, now that's a really psychedelic thing. Jump up here to get the first star coin. If you just beat this by going through the normal exit, you will not act. You will not be able to progress through, through the through the world. Wait, uh, we need to go back out of the way we came. You need to find the secret exit. Fortunately, the secret exit's not that hard to find, so you don't really need me to find it. Um, but I'll show you where it is anyway. Because 100% walkthrough. Hey! Okay, that was really close. This sinks under your weight, so you want to jump. try and jump between these platforms. Okay, that was a fail on every way possible. Please give me big platforms. Thank you. If you don't do that successfully, you want to try and jump between these to get it, and then fall back on jumping on the middle one if you need to, but it sinks under your weight. And if you really need something to fall back on like I did, then you're going to have to fall back on your platforms. Good old reliable platforms. Dope, just jump through here, that was really lucky. You'll f we'll find our third star coin right here. Yeah, in between these booze. Oh, you're gonna sink out of my way too. Okay, got it just in time, just in time, let's get out of here. And there's a psychedelic Bowser, and there's brown pounds through here to get some coins, and an acorn, I believe? Yeah, an acorn. Oh, what's this notification? Comment on my video. Okay, I'll, I'll respond to that in a minute. Oh, another comment on my video. I'll respond to that after the first one. And also, after I finish this recording session, okay. Here's a normal exit right here. I'm gonna. I'm not. Okay. Mm, I'll, I'll do the secret exit first. Because we need. Ideally, you want the waddling suit to do this, but you can also. Here, I'll show you how you do it if you don't have it. Just wait. Just keep looking at this boo. Wait till the red pipe extends fully to the right. Jump off onto the green pipe, and then run over here for a secret pipe. It's gonna take us to a secret area. Another psychedelic background, which can take us to a, another secret area, a secret area within a secret area within a secret area. And this is our secret exit, right here. Okay, this is the secret path I was mentioning before. Another comment? Jeez. Alright. So I'm gonna go in, I'm not gonna show this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go get the normal legs, and I will see you guys over there for Deep Sea Ruins, Soda Jungle Dash 5. Alright, time for Soda Jungle Dash 5 Deep Sea Ruins. And an acorn is not an ideal power-up to have going into this level, but we're gonna get an ice flower right off the bat, so... No problem there. We are almost out of power-ups, by the way, but we're holding on to the power-ups that are important. I've, I had to use an acorn because I died en route to the normal exit, which is kind of sad. Um, and you saw the other power-ups that I had to use this episode. Uh, fortunately, there should be a mushroom mask coming up in Rock Candy Mines. I just instantly lost that. Wow. And, okay, wow, this is not going, this is not going very well. At all, actually. Um, I'm using a lot of power-ups this- I'm using a lot of power-ups this episode, but I'm holding on to the ones that we need. We need the super power-ups, or the, the super acorns, whatever, the, uh, I don't know, the, the Aladdin suits, whatever you want to call them. Whatever, whatever the special ones are where you get to jump infinitely. Um, and the inf and the invincibility stars whenever Nabbit decides to show his little face. Oh, wait, and it's, uh, first star coin. Almost missed it. Come on. Let me back through. Thank you. Right down there, and the thing is, is that that one's not even hidden, it's in, right in plain sight. Let's swim. Oh wait, I can't swim under- oh, shoot. Jump, quickly, slide, there we go. Just like that. Okay, jump back through the gap, and then back through another gap, and then let's go underwater. And I think we're already gonna- already gonna get a midway point right on the other side of this. What? Oh, yeah. How is this level giving me problems, and yet Flight of the Parabeetles and, and Bramball Woods have given me none? Midway point here, I believe, no? Oh, we have, to, we have to get through this first underwater section before that. Are you serious? Nope. Nope. You're gonna- nope. 
let's now it's very very minimal lighting here but we don't need a lot of lighting slip in between these boos and then come out on the other side in one piece oh of course okay red ring riches please give me give me a power up i need a power up i have not been doing very well this level fire flower ice flower thank you for the ice flower i wish they hadn't gotten rid of the penguin suit that was such a good power up its main use was in worlds three and in su to some extent four but still a good power up i don't know why they got rid of it all right we're not gonna waste our time with this block we're gonna run right past it and the second and third star coins are both in a really plain sight it's just a matter of do you skip them or not oh hi okay didn't intend on doing that but here's a second star oh no no oh my good lord okay Let's run past these boos if we can. Go through the gap, like, right now. Grab a second star coin and then go back out with the other gap. Like so. And then the third star coin is also in a gap very much like this one on the right. Do we need to, wait, do we need to grab how to get this guy to move? Oh, hi, you're gonna move on your own. Let's jump on top of you as you fall. And then third star coin's right here. And I believe this leads to the hidden exit right here. Um... But even if it doesn't, it leads to an exit, and then I'll show you where the... I, I mean, it's hard to determine what th this game considers... I mean, I know what it considers a secret exit, because, um... One leads to the rest of the level, the other one doesn't. But in terms of... I guess this one could be, because it's more hidden, but I don't remember whether this is the secret pipe or that one, or that... Or, uh, the one you could just jump to wasn't. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, that was the secret exit, so then... I'll place the level again, and then I will see you on the other side for us to tackle the final three levels of Soda Jungle. So it turns out, when you're not going for Star Coins and you're just trying to beat the level, this level isn't actually as hard as I perceived it to be, or didn't perceive it to be, and it ended up being for me. Okay. So, that's this area done, all secret and normal exits, so now let's proceed to the roulette area. Or, I guess technically. It's another one of those where are these guys gonna hide things. It's kinda like Dragon's Earth 3D. So they hid in the top right, mid right, and bottom left. Which we don't need to touch in order to get to this toad house. So that's pretty great. This is gonna help us get back some of those power-ups we lost before. Um, okay, let's go for fire flower. Let's go for two fire flowers. Yeah. Nope. Hang on. Yep. There. There. And then... There we go. Oh, only one. Oh! 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 What? The I grabbed the wrong w What? I thought they swapped up there. Okay, apparently they didn't swap. Well, great. Okay, well, guess we don't need that. Well, wait, let me look ahead for a bit. Okay, we'll get we'll get a mushroom house up here, and then marine clouds, we'll get one there. We'll get two more marine clouds, and then we don't get anything in Peach's Castle. Peach's Castle is a dead man's land. And... That's not open yet. Okay. Let's just do Seesaw Bridge. Alright. Hi. Let's get rid of you. Or not get rid of you. What are we going to get? We're going to get something we already have. Great. Okay. So this entire that entire gimmick of this level is just Seesaws. Uh, let's go through this hidden area right here to get... Oh, yep. Down this pipe. The gimmick of this level is tilting platforms, which, I mean, it's cool and all, but it can sometimes get really tedious. Let's be friends, jump to the right wall, jump out of here, just like that. I'm really disappointed that I didn't... I thought, I could have sworn that they swapped up at the top. I don't have to watch back and editing and see what happened, because I was keeping my eye on the Bowser, but I thought that the middle one swapped with the right, so I figured, okay, if I grab the right one now, I'll be fine. But apparently, that wasn't the case. Okay, we're gonna... How can we... How... Hmm. Is there something up here? There's a 1-up, which just was wasted. 
Is there... Yeah, okay, we're gonna throw this Koopa shell down into it, because there's no way we're getting it ourselves. Let's... Let's slide like that. Perfect. And then jump our way out of here. And then third star coin. Okay. Oh, dear. I'm gonna have to go down another pipe to grab it. Whoa. Guess we're doing red ring riches. Let's get this. Oh, oh, oh. I can do it. Yeah, give me that one up that I don't need. Oh, oh, oh. I, okay, I wasn't level three Mario, so I I can just great. That's that's perfect actually. All right, this is a great power up to have for this level. And what are we gonna get here? A uh, mushroom. We don't need that. That's worthless. I was hoping for maybe invincibility. So oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Platform. Platform. Oh, now you give me little platforms. Now you give me little platforms. I had big platforms a minute ago, and now you give me little platforms. Why? Oh, now you- And now you give me big platforms. What? There's no consistency with this. Jump down this pipe right here to- Yup. Nope. Wait, what? No, these are the pipes we have to- Oh, do we have to go down this pipe? They lead to the same area. Why can't I go down that pipe? Okay, grab the third Stark. Oh. We have to just- Okay, jump up here, I guess. And then grab star point number three, drop down. And there we go. Let's get out of here. Okay, so this, from Toad House to now, not a lot of great things have happened. I messed up the Toad House royally. That's going to haunt me forever now. And now this level is giving me a, a, a lot of trouble, as has the Deep Sea Ruins one. Oh. The second half of this world has not been as kind to me as the first half was. Let's jump onto this right platform and get out of here, since the end of the level should be right around the corner. I swear. Nope. 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 This level really hasn't been treating me well at all. The second half of this world has not been very kind to me, which is odd because they started off great with both the ghost house and the secret level. And level four, really. Level five took a turn for the- Are you kidding me? No- as I was trying to say, um, level 5 was when things took a turn for the worse, and then level 6 happened and wrecked up my whole world. Although I guess the Toad House came before that, and that, that, I'm just, I feel so bad about that. Okay, we could go to the castle right now if I wanted to, and I'm tempted to because I feel really bad about these past couple levels. Um, but I still have yet to redeem myself, so we need to go to Wiggle Stampede. And, uh, nope, no power-ups, let's just go in. And actually, it may not have been the best idea to go in with no power-ups, because this is a level that heavily revolves around the premise that you have a wallowing suit, or at least a mushroom, so that they can give you a wallowing suit right here. But, I guess a mushroom's better than nothing, so let's get on with it. There's our first star coin, which... Might have to bounce across Wiggler to use rather than using a Waddle Wing suit. Oh, don't st don't storm off after me, Mini Wiggler. Actually, can I can I get a Waddle Wing suit from this one right here? I can. Thank you. That was very kind of you, sir. Oh, hey there. How are you doing? Okay, so I need to. So the, the second star coin is in right here. Actually, we need to bounce up off this Wiggler and hit this block right here to get a Beanstalk going, and then we can follow it up here to get the second star coin. Actually, Star Coins 2 and- wait, what is this? Not where the second- second. I could've- hmm. I guess this isn't where the second Star Coin is. Oh, it is! Okay, I- so you just need a waddling suit to get up a bit higher. So yeah, they, this level heavily revives around the fact that you have a waddling suit. Oh, that's why- oh no, because there's a beanstalk in there. Okay. So I guess you don't technically need a waddling suit, but it makes it easier if you do. Um, I wanna f note floating over here was not a good idea because we need to free this Wiggler. By using the peace switch, and let's grab these coins so that he can get free. And this actually may be a good opportunity for me to get back up to. And actually, oh, another peace switch. Oh, quickly, 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 quickly. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Ah! No! Oh, dang it. Oh, well. There's a lot of missed coins that that probably could have got us back up to 99 lives, to be honest with you. Just gingerly float through. Thank you. And Starcoin 3 should just be in plain sight, if I remember correctly. Oh, what am I What am I aiming for? We're aiming for this, okay. Uh, can we get a 1-up? No, Invincibility Star. Which isn't particularly helpful for this level. Oh, eh, and float up! There we go. And, oh! Nope, nothing to land on. 
Wiggler, be my friend. Thanks, Wiggler. You're always there for me. I'm just gonna bounce across you to get to the end of this level. Float up here, and then the, is the end of the level right here? It is. All right, there we go. That, I think I've redeemed myself. That was a very good run. Okay, this is rough. This is a this this is not an easy castle. It puts all the castles we've been through up until this point to shame. Be it Sparkling Waters, be it Frosted Glacier, be it Lake Creek Desert, be it Acorn Plains. All these castles are about to get put to shame, and not in a good way. Yes. It's the same lava stream gimmick that they utilized in World 8 of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And it's not any better this time around, because a single touch and you are dead. So, it's only fair that the first star coin requires you to surpass one of these lava streams. Hey there. Let's be friends. Oh, pounce off of you to get the- oh, that didn't work. Ice Flower, come to me. Thank you. And freeze you. And I probably actually know what. Let's grab you and use you to bust open the rest of you. Kind of like that. And I didn't get to get my one up because the lava was in my way. Thank you, lava, please. Okay, good. At least for this level, I have big platforms. Okay, here. We're gonna jump. Let's wait for you to pass. Jump past you and then run. Grab the second star coin and then jump up immediately. And then the second star coin is within a pipe, so we don't need to do any more of those stunts. Red Ring Riches, please give me a 1-up. Please. I need it in my life. Come on. Get it, get it. Yes, 99 lives. 99 lives. I am redeeming myself very nicely. So that was not the pipe you need to go up. You need to go up the middle pipe in between those two. So you can throw it on the power blocks so you can get the star coin to come to you. Let me back those lives because I went through a lot of lava to get here. There we go. And from here, it's a straight shot to the end of the level until we hit the, the castle doors. Because from that point on, it is going to be... I mean, from once, once we get the castle doors, it's going to be a boss fight, obviously. But even beyond that, we need to drop down into this pipe right here to get the third star coin. <sighs> Please give me big platforms. Thank you very much. Go across the platforms to grab this star coin and then jump back up to the top. Let's go take down Iggy, but first... Thank you. Fire flowers. Appreciated. This is a very pretty view. As opposed to the turmoil we had to get through to get here. My recommendation is to stick near the center, dodge his thing when he fires it at you, and then wait for him to drop down. When he drops down, and also watch out for the lava monster, jump over that. When he drops down, jump on top of him, and don't let him get in again. You can try to cut him off before he gets into the pipe if you want to, but I, I find it it's better to wait for him to drop down once and then catch him off guard, and then you need to kind of expect him to come back up and then jump on top of him again. We have another hit to take, so let's just be careful. Nope, okay, you're gonna go back, but you're not gonna go all the way. You're gonna come back up now? Nope, now, I think. Nope, now? Yep, there we go. You're done. You are done, Iggy. You don't stand a chance.
You got all the star coins in Soda Jungle. That's gotta mean something good, right? Of course it does. Alright. Yes, save. That's gonna do it for this episode of New Super Mario Bros. U. So, I would like to thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And until then, this has been Gaming Magic 13. Signing off. I hope you have a fantastic Oracle day, and I will catch you all next time for some more. New Super Mario Bros. U. We're gonna be tackling the first half of Rock Candy Mines. Perhaps the most confusing world in the entire game. Or, I mean, confusing, yes, but convoluted as well. Goodbye!